sort of felt like the Edmonton Oilers have been running in quicksand for the last couple of weeks. Dare I say, despite going 5-1-1, one, one, a little all-star okay. break, sandwiching that, the Oilers remain 11 points back of a playoff spot. Their best player, Connor McDavid, is warming. 13 points in those last seven games, Sydney. And last night, he reminded us just how good the dude can be. Snaps it towards the net, deflected, scores! Connor McDavid. He's blessed with the speed and the skill. Like, it's not fair, really. Moves in, McDavid goes upstairs! What a goal! I don't know what to say about this. That is un. Unbelievable. Everything you want in a hockey player, he's got it. It seems like he's from another planet. Coming in on a breakaway, Connor McDavid scores! Patrick! And they are flooding the ice with hats. I think when you're as good as he is, there's no such thing as luck. And bouncing, Park goes in! 97 getting his fourth goal of the night. I don't know if I've seen him play better than he has tonight. He just has that ability to, to take a game over. It was kind of his night. Yeah, it was his night. Uh, the second goal was ridiculous, right? Like, we could all just look at that thing of beauty and say, dear God, most mortal men cannot do that. And considering who he did it against, like, let's, <laughs> let's remember, Vasilevsky's top five and wins goals against save percentage. Bup! Bup! Made him look stupid. That's one of the best goals. That might be the Vesna Trophy winner this year. How many times have I talked about short side roof Oh, dude, every, every time I see you in the morning, you're like, Sid, what's going on? Short side roof? <laughs> like every he, day we see each he other. He did it short side roof from about, what, like six inches away from the goal line? Yeah, that's my sweet spot. Like the, physics, yeah. the physics on that, yours is more about. Move on, never please. Mind. <laughs> never mind. Move on, please. Never Let's mind. Let's not debate that. Either way. I'll lose. The goal and speaking of the risk to yeah. get it up there, unbelievable. Well, Sid, you know, or Tim, that's your name. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's gonna happen eventually. <laughs> no, but you're so used to talking to yourself. I know. <laughs> See, no. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. You might have been distracted. I was a little distracted. <laughs> Avaka, my apologies. The point is this. Um, so everyone's loving the second goal, right? Yes. Everyone's as to try to get this back on the road. Everyone's loving the second goal. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> This shouldn't happen, right? <laughs> no, the but second like, goal, or are you calling me both. your own name? <laughs> both. <laughs> yes, but the, Ron Burgundy. The fourth goal. Yeah. The fourth <laughs> goal. You think the second goal was his best goal last night? Really? What? The fourth goal? Connor McDavid purposely has his goal off Chris Kunitz's foot and in. <laughs> he you, yeah. did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, oh, the second goal. Oh, and the Panda boys. Yeah. This one is fun. He did this on purpose. Everyone's like, oh, what a fluke. <laughs> nope. He's Connor McDavid. He was sent from the heavens. He, he was responsible for that Elon Musk rocket going to space today. Yeah, space what has. can't Connor McDavid Landed do? Too. He did that on purpose, makes a second goal look like a joke. Right. Four goals for Connor McDavid last night. And you know what? It's harder to sell you that after you call me Sid. It's true. <laughs> right? Like, it would have been easier for me to just poo-poo you saying that if you hadn't have called me your own name. You know what, Chuck Swirsky? I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Whole show. Whole no, show, we've got to continue this. No Euler was needed last night. If anyone saw that game on Sportsnet West, like the highlights, they, they kind of told the story. If you watched him move, Dreisaitl could have went home. Nurse could have went home. They all, Camp Talbot could have went home. Like, just left. Because 97 was on his own best hockey player I've ever seen in my life. He's Here, the best hockey player I've ever seen in my life. He, he was by far the best hockey player. Like, by far. He was absolutely, positively the best hockey player on the ice. And the ice also included Kucherov, Stamkos, and Hedman. Right? Yep. Like, just... Ponder that. Real players. Two Hart Trophy candidates yep. and probably the Norris Trophy winner. And John, and John Cooper, smart. Smart coach. Yeah. Right. And, and he was by far. So I said before that they're 11 points back. Like, that's too far back, right? Like, even Connor McDavid, four goals, five points, is not taking the playoffs, right? See, I would say no because the math is just what it is. Because here's the problem. What we saw last night, and everyone who watched Sportsnet West knows what I'm talking about, you're going to need about six more of these. Six the, more. The team will will combine for some wins as a group. Six more. You're going to have six nights at least to get back in the race 
where 97 is like a video game, mm -hmm. all right? And I don't know if he's physically capable, although I think he jumped like three spots in the scoring race last night on that alone. I don't know if he's capable of shouldering that kind of a load at this point of the season. I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible. It's not humanly possible it's for someone can't. to score five points a game and do what he did in that game against, but not the, best, even the, five points, against but the best team in the league and maybe the Vesna Trophy just winner. Just create seven really good opportunities a night. Like, yeah. that's what he's going to have to do to get there on six different nights by himself. And the team will get them together and they'll have a good couple of nights. Yeah. But they're not that good a team. So I don't think they can get there. Uh, by the way, when do I start my Phil Kessel for Hart Trophy? No, I'm not. Candidacy. I'm not going to take Set, part in that sorry. whatsoever. Uh, put the uh, scoring leaders I'm back up there. I'm not going to take part in that whatsoever. Soak it, soak it in, six arrow. Yeah, soak, in, soak it soak in. in. Third in their division. Chase them out of the city, Toronto. No Phil way. Kessel, soak it in, kids. Second in the league in scoring. MVP's Blake Wheeler. What? What? MVP's we'll, Blake Wheeler. We'll ask uh, Patrick Laine about that a little bit later on in his Players' Tribune article. Uh, one thing. Uh, hat trick, four goals, as a matter of fact, for Conor McDavid. Uh, hats all over the ice. Have you ever thrown your hat at a hockey game or a soccer game or, I don't know, Edwin Encarnacion? I've never met anyone in my life who has actually taken off their hat mm -hmm. and thrown it onto the ice because I'm not, I buy starters, man. <laughs> I buy the most expensive hats on the market. Yeah, I don't even know if they make those. I don't think they do. Yeah. But have you ever, do you know of anyone who's ever done that, thrown <laughs> a hat somewhere? <laughs> It's a great point. I don't. I you don't. have like expensive hats. You have the Versace of hats. Versace. You're, of not, hats. you're just not gonna. Versace toss does them, make hats, right? Just nice chapeau. No, I just have like uh, new era hats. Yeah, like Dagan would have thrown one. Yeah. Don't show him. You got enough air. They're expensive though. They have forty bucks a piece. I'm not throwing a forty dollar hat on the ice. I mean, there's some trucker hats on there. This is Edmonton, right? Like you can see Real the mesh hats. backs there. Yeah. Like that's Edmonton. There's... But that means more to the guys. Like I think that's even more impressive than some. Some Von Dutch hat. No, but like you're at the Husky and buying that hat, right? Yeah, I mean, it's... Like okay. the, the mesh backs. Look at all the hats, man. It's a lot of hats. So hold on, somebody threw a fake foam puck hat. Does that even count? That yeah, counts. That doesn't count. This is a hat trick, not a foam puck trick. Is there ever a picture of Connor McDavid where he doesn't look kind of sort of awkward? Well, when he met the nice Filipino couple at the airport the yeah, one time. Yeah, that was... That was actually, they were really nice. You know, like he was, he was himself. He was, he had some personality in the photo. He looked like he wanted to be there. We'll hit on that a little bit later. <laughs> we'll hit on that a little later on.